Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. In this short Matplotlib tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add background information to our data visualizations using titles, access labels, and legends. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So far, the plots that we have created using Matplotlib have only consisted of the visualized numerical data, the points and the lines. However, plots such as the one below are not very helpful because it doesn't tell us what the data is about. So for example, this plot right here can show us an exponential function, but we don't actually know what this function is describing. What is the context of this graph? What does the x-axis represent? What does the y-axis represent? So today we're going to talk about how to use titles, labels, and legends to provide more information about the graphs that we create so that our viewers actually know what they're looking at. First off, titles. Titles are used to indicate what an entire plot is about. We can use the plt.title function to set the title for a graph. So here we have the x and y values, and we use plt.plot to plot these points. And then we can call plt.title with a string passed in to set the title for a graph. Now you can definitely use a more informative title than the one right here because this still doesn't tell us anything that we really need to know about a real data set. I'm just using this as an example for a simple graph. So here we can see after we call plt.show, we can see an exponential function as the title of our graph. Now let's talk about labels. If we want to label the x and y axes of our graphs, we can use the plt.x label for the x axis and plt.y label for the y axis to set axis labels. We have the same exact plot as before. I changed the title to human population simulation, which definitely is not represented using a two to the x exponential function, but let's just pretend that this is somehow factually correct and we have the x-axis label of time and the y-axis label of population in thousands. After we call plt.show, we can see the title up right here, the y-axis label as population in thousands, and the x-axis label of time right here. Lastly, let's talk about legends. Sometimes we have multiple lines, more than one line in our plot, and it's sometimes difficult to keep track of which line is representing which data. So it can be very helpful to label the data, the individual lines using legends. The plt.plot method actually takes an argument called label, which is essentially labeling each line. And using the plt.legend function, we can just call this directly, we can display the labels of our lines. So here we have two lines, the first of which is essentially two to the x to power, and the second one is three to the x to power. The first one is in blue and the second one is in red. So the plt.plot function calls, both of these will take the label argument. Now I passed in two strings, which may look a little bit complicated, but essentially what this is doing is we're graphing or we're labeling the lines using mathematical notation. So if we put some things inside of a pair of dollar signs, this is going to be displayed, rendered in mathematical notation. So let me plot this really quick. And you can see the label right here has two, and then we have a superscript of x, and the same idea with three to the x. So this is kind of mathematical notation for these two labels. And after we call these two plt.plot function calls, we call plt.legend. We don't have to pass anything in because we already have the labels already in the plot function calls. And we can see we have the legend right up here telling us that indeed we can see the red line, the three to the x to power is growing much faster than the blue line, which is two to the x to power. Alternatively, we can also pass the labels directly into the plt.legend function as a list. So we don't have to pass the label parameter into plt.plot. We can just pass a list into plt.legend, but you have to make sure that the order of this list matches the function calls right here. So if your first function call is two to the x to power, 
you got to make sure that the first label is the corresponding label. And then the second plt.plot function is going to correspond to the second element of this list right here. Graphing this, we can see the same exact plot as before on my screen. So this is how you can use titles, labels, and legends to provide background contextual information on the visualizations that you create in matplotlib. And that is it for this tutorial on adding titles, access labels, and legends to our graphs using matplotlib. If you found this video to be helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe down below. With that said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in more programming tutorials.